Just a couple of weeks ago, Eduardo Cunha had a big victory when his peers approved the continuation of the impeachment process against President Dilma Rousseff, which in large part reached the stage thanks to him. But this week, things turned sour for Cunha as the Supreme Court unanimously removed him from the parliament and from the presidency of the House, pending an investigation of corruption and abuse of power allegations. The decision is effective immediately, but still needs congressional confirmation. The Supreme Court's decision was welcomed by members of parliament, both from the opposition and the government. Eduardo Cunha is an extremely controversial figure here, and with Dilma Rousseff's impeachment approved, and now out of his hands, he's lost much of the support he had once managed to pull together. It's unlikely the removal of Cunha will have any impact on Dilma Rousseff's impeachment process, as the case has already gone to the Senate, which is expected to vote soon on allegations of alleged Rousseff budget irregularities. I don't think there will be any direct impact on the impeachment process from a legal point of view. However, I think that politically it, it can also somehow help uh, the Vice President Michel Temer uh, in his uh, legitimacy claim to be the next president. And this is because the authority, the political and moral authority of Cunha has been uh, really uh, a, big, a big stain in the legitimacy of the whole process of impeachment. Cunha's critics and even some allies often compare him to the fictional character Frank Underwood from the TV Netflix drama House of Cards for his ability for backroom political negotiations to reach his objectives. Opinion polls show Cunha is even less popular than President Rousseff herself, with over three quarters of the people saying they want him out of the parliament. If Rousseff is impeached and Cunha remained as president of the Chamber of Deputies, he would, in effect, be the vice president and next in line to become the president, despite the allegations against him. This possibility is something that deeply concerns many in Brazil's population and political establishment. Paulo Cabral, CCTV, São Paulo.